Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KidBadger.com, here to bring you the first Box of Awesome for 2019. What is the Box of Awesome? Ultimately, it is a box full of stuff I've accrued over the past number of months, and as a way for me to show my appreciation for your support, I've came up with the Box of Awesome, giving this stuff back to you guys. So, what do we have in this box? First off, we have a sweet patch, Violent Little Low Life. This is one of the patches from Violent Little Machine Shop. They make all kinds of pretty sweet stuff to include this patch. That's up there, as well as two different hats from Gorilla Ammunition. If you haven't shot their stuff, they actually make some pretty rad ammo. And yeah, these two hats are up as well. Past that, what else do we have? Some hand-me-downs. These Blue Force Gear 10-speed pouches, they come together. Basically a 5.56 and pretty much any pistol mag. Or you can put pretty much anything else that'll fit in these guys because they're elastic. I will say these are the older ones. Used them for a number of years over in Afghanistan. I eventually upgraded to the Healing Whisper. Still more life left in these. They're not as light. They actually use the webbing versus the newer, lighter Helium Whisper. But double pistol, double rifle, those are up as well. Also in the box, got this guy by Liberty Suppressors. Is it a can? No, it is not. It is actually, you can unscrew this end, it is a cigar tube, cigar case. So you can unscrew, it's all machined out of aluminum, anodized, laser etched, throw your cigar in there, throw it in your backpack, range bag, whatever, and won't get crushed. You get to where you're going, and you smoke cigars, you can take it out, enjoy it, it's in one piece. Also, I got these guys, which are the Walker Razor Digital Ear Pro. Still have the cups, never threw them on. Again, amplified digital hearing protection, not too bad. I actually really enjoy using amplified hearing protection, especially if you're with new shooters. Put these on them, that way they can hear your range commands, everyone's safe. Additionally, have this, which is the Spec 1 premium cleaning system. Actually, while this is from Sig Sauer, it's white labeled from Slip2K and has all the products on here, bore solvent, like degreaser, cleaner, and then effectively gun lube, Slip2K. Stuff actually works really good. Pretty much turnkey, like weapons maintenance package right here. Apparently, keeping with our tobacco theme right now, we have this guy, which is the tack dip. Basically, it is a holder for a can of dip. Personally, don't use tobacco products to include dipping. Know a lot of people that do. Locks in here and it's Velcro backed. It's actually made to slap onto a helmet, something like that. Probably use it on pretty much anything, but slightly concave, so it'll obviously fit onto a helmet. Carry your dip around, should you choose to do so. Next thing, kind of size dependent but a little twofer. I believe it is large as I was. Extra large. Extra large shirt by Opscore with Gintex water bottle. If you're unfamiliar, this is, as I understand it, the parent company of Opscore, but extra large t-shirt and the water bottle. Then finally, we have a couple things left, one of which is this guy. It's AK War Comp. I'm assuming the thread pitch is like 14 left or whatever the hell the thread pitch is, like the standard pitch for AKs, but Surefire War Comp. If you haven't ever shot an AK with a War Comp, world of difference, really pleasant. And that is there. Lastly, got this guy, which is a backpack by 511 branded through SIG. It's actually pretty sweet. You can expand it out or compress it and there is either a hydration or I believe, well, you can pretty much use it one way or the other. Hydration or laptop sleeve in here, padded. So if you throw your laptop in there, hopefully it's not gonna get banged up. And that is the box of awesome. Question now being, how do you get some of this rad stuff? 
go over to the associated post on my Patreon page, click the link. It's gonna take you to a page on my website. On that page, you will see a list, you'll see your name there, and there'll be a number next to it. That number is representative of how many months you've been a Patreon supporter. Think about that number as points. You will then see all of this stuff laid out and labeled. And at that point, let's say, let's say I wanted this pack and maybe I'd been a Patreon supporter for, I don't know, like five months. So I have those five points, right? There's an associated email on that page. You'll click on the email say, hey, this is me. This is what I would like to use X amount of points for maybe four points, even though you have five, depending on how bad you want it, who knows? But you're like, hey, four points, done. Send that email off. In a couple of weeks, beginning of March, I will go through, I'll say, hey, this person used four points on this. You know what? Someone else outbid them, use six points on that. Who knows? Ultimately, whoever puts the most points towards whatever object, they end up winning that. What if there's a tie? What if everyone bid one point for this? Well, then ultimately, it ends up going to whoever has been Patreon supporter longest, if there's a tie. And as basically people use these points they've accrued, they're deducted. So maybe someone's been a Patreon supporter for like 15 months and they're like, really want that war comp. All 15, done. Well, next quarter, when we have another box of awesome, they're zeroed back out, or I guess technically, they would have three points at that point because they would have used all 15 and now they have three. So as you use them, they're gone. And if there's nothing in here that you're like, hey, this isn't something I really want, save them, man. Eventually, you're probably gonna have some other, even cooler stuff. Probably have a suppressor in here at one point, but that is ultimately how the Box of Awesome works. The plan is to do a Box of Awesome basically quarterly. An opportunity for me to give back to you guys that have supported me so much, which I am very, very grateful for. And hopefully in a meaningful way. So you don't end up like, yay, I got a war comp for an AK that I don't own. I guess, I mean, in fairness, it gives you an excuse to go out and get an AK. But hopefully an opportunity to get things that you actually want and intend on using like stuff that'll be useful which i think is a good thing if for whatever reason the instructions are still unclear they're going to be written out on that web page as well hopefully alleviate any confusion but as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time